Hello again guys, Gaming Assassin here. Uh, did a bit of leveling, just show you my stats that I did off camera. Got 30 strength, 25 dex, stayed the same. I've got 20 adaptability, endurance, and vigor though. And I also got 30 vitality. So I'm wearing my Bayer's gear. And my thing on the back. And we're going to. Shaded Woods. This bonfire, I think. Yeah. I think it's this bonfire. We will try and take on the. Uh. The what you call it boss? Uh, Scorpioness Nagica, that's it. That seems a bit bright. Can I make it not as bright? Oh, that's made it worse. Or not, as the case may be. I think that's made it better. There we go. Right, that guy will kill in a minute. Right. Yo. Oh. No, I was gonna do something. But don't forget, this is episode 17, 18, I think. I don't know. That guy will kill in a minute. We'll go up here, this guy's gonna walk over and so is that guy. But welcome back to this awesome let's play. And I kill all of the mutant things. And I give them a bit of a backstab. Oh, and you came to the party. Oh, ho one hit. I'm so overpowered. Pop a life gem. These things we must kill or destroy. Otherwise they would curse me. So yeah, welcome back to so episode 17, I think. I'm not sure. Destroy! There we go. I like doing that, that's fun. Flame butterfly. Yeah, stop trying to bloody curse me. Okay, now what I want to do get my poison arrows out and I want to I want to just oh pretty me get him in the red bit okay so I've got him poisoned now what I want to do is so I can get this close Pepper him with arrows. And get the stamina back up. I think this guy drops like a petrified dragon bone. I'm not sure. But it would definitely help with our pursuer's greatsword. But as you can see, that guy's got over 2,000 health. Things like 4,000 maybe just below. There we go. And he'll die soon. Just go up and one bang him. There we go. What's he drop? Yeah, Petrified Dragon Bone. Always good. Leveling up our Pursuer's Great Sword. And we will definitely use it. Oh, I forgot about you. This area is pretty easy for me. It's actually quite small. I'll just keep running into these. I won't degrade my weapon. Ferris Lockstone and the soul. So we eat. There's a sun behind this. Oh, well, it could have been, but I don't know. Alright, we're not going to go that way, I think. We're going to go this way. Actually, no, we're going to go through this way. You're a little cheeky devil. I think in here's another petrified dragon bone. Yeah, petrified dragon bone and tiny eye chunk. Which is awesome because now I think I can get the claymore to plus nine. I don't know. But if I can, I will do that anyway. No! 
I don't want to get cursed. They're annoying. Right, these various lock stones are a hint for the next area. Known as the Doors of Pharos. So I think you can guess what that type what what area that words. What type of area that will be. There we go. Tarnite shard, chunk and bolt stone. Sweet. I'm getting these good loot. Loot? Yeah. Then here's a dark scythe. And you see that scorpion guy? You're gonna talk to him. And you wanna know how? Well, you're gonna have to wait for a bit because there's other areas that I want to explore. Not I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah, oh, I'll just do this one. Now we have the Ring of Whispers. Human, are we? This is no place for you. Be gone. Are you not afraid of me? Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me. Make an attempt on my life. But you. had a master. He created us long, long ago. But he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Now he was on about Eventually, the uh, great, uh, what do you call it, the Duke Dragon from Dark Souls 1. Seek the scale of I'm trying to think of the name. Strange creatures. And... Because Seath Scaleless, by his name, he had no scales and he like resented the creatures, or the dragons who had scales. Troth is the boss of this area. I always felt her on my side. But as time went on, things went awry. And then he's on about her she going even more hollow and being solidly. mental. Eventually she came after me. And we have been locked in combat ever since. We seem I was born I will be sure to assist. Okay, so now he's gonna help us. Speak the tongue of men. Does this mean I was once human? The past is a distant... My name was Tark. That is all that I remember. His name is Tark. Dot, dot, dot. There was a guy in Dark Souls 1 called Tark. Us. Okay, so that's Tarkus, I think. If it is, Tarkus is a wimp in this game. In the first game, he was a boss. Now, this line is different to the others because it doesn't have like a mask type thing going on, or whatever it was. Still does a bloody lot ton of damage. Okay, seriously, I'm not dying to you. Torch. Did you drop anything? No. Gonna heal up. Here's a fragrant branch of your on you. And one of the best weapons in Dark Souls 2. The best weapon in Dark Souls 1 uh, is now here in Dark Souls 2. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Come here. I don't see how he's going to attack on me. But, oh well, I still killed it. Right, it's over this little bridge. And you might just take one look at it and think you don't need to go there, but you really should. The Black Knight Halbert. I'll show you the stuff and what it does if I can get this back to focus. Or if it just wants to stay as bad. Alright. Where is it? Mm, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Black Knight Halberd. And it's got a scaling of fire. Okay, that's his light attacks two handed. Uh, 
Okay, I think that's just one heavy attack. Now one handed light. And now one handed heavy. It's pretty basic, but it's still a really good weapon. And there's my clay. Now you can actually jump out that window and you won't die. So you just end up over this side. And you can get this. If this video does end up abruptly, like I am sorry, I've been called to do something, but I have to wait like half an hour for it. So, let's just see if I can get in a video, well, a second video of the day. Oh no, I had the backstab. There we go, backstab. And you see, we get the fang key that is used for this area as well. And we can just walk over this. We can sit at the bonfire if we want, but we don't need to. You can come up here and get this. I think it's like fire bomb or something. Oh no, it's a radiant life gem. Still alright. I wonder how many petrified dragon bones have we got? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, the petrified dragon bones are titanite, aren't they? Where is it? Here. We have three. That's good. We can upgrade our, our uh, Pursuer's Greatsword once. I think we get a second one. If we get two more, we can upgrade it again. Come on. You're a good fire defense. There we go. Now this is a trap. I'll go down there in a minute. Should I take this stuff out? There we go. And because we have loads of fragrant branches for you all, we're gonna help all of the people here. Well people, I mean like lion things, lioness people, I, I don't know what they are. Still does a butt ton of damage. Okay, heal up. And we get another fragrant branch of your in here I think. Yeah, fragrant branch of your and a load of lion stuff. I'll show you the. What am I doing? I'll show you the set. I think this is it. Um, I think this is the lion mage stuff. Makes me look pretty freaky. But yeah, that's the lion mage stuff. I don't actually know what it does. Improves casting speed. Okay. Pretty pointless for me, that is. Yeah, I think they all improve casting speed. Yeah. Oh, I want these. There we go. And then we're gonna go up this one. No, it's not up this one. It's up this one. Like I said, this area is pretty small, so we're gonna get onto the boss in half the episode, so kill it quite fast though. That's a thing up here. Oh, he's taking a little bit of damage, which is always good. Well, the damage part isn't, but there's a secret little thing down here. Drop down. Right, I'm back. Sorry for the jump cut. I uh, just had to say goodbye to my mum. She was going to whack now. What's up with the lighting? Homing Salmas. Where is the guy that was in here? There he is. Ah, look how far this undead has wandered. This guy's a the secret covenant. Undead you are, a bit too alive, but with a darkish shadow. And like every undead, you have no future. Oh my, don't mind me. I'm just talking amongst myself. But if you find the need for a true dark, the dark, the dark is still nascent within you. May 
to the old man. Darkness don't shine. These little pits, the little yellow orange pits, they're uh, degrading your armor and stuff. So if you walk in that, your like rings will be instantly degraded. Those are these things in here, though. Ain't being poisoned or cursed today, mate. No, I'm thinking about it. I haven't been cursed once, but when I get up to the final boss, I will be cursed. Okay, this is where you use the fang key to open all effects of cell and an Estus flask shard. Thank you for helping me. I'm on effects. Dang, you tall. Back to normal. There we go. Thank you. Okay, she can craft you boss or weapons, which is always good. And what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to the imported stuff, because why not? Take these off. And I'll show you what this does. See now it's all broken. That's how fast it acts. So we're gonna put our normal stuff back on. Where's my game clips? There they are. Yeah, hold on. There we go. And the uh, this hood because it's awesome. Then I want my claymore. And then I want my shield. And there was a demonstration about how bad that pool is. And then I'm the Ring of Giants. I want my Paramancy Flame. And then I want my bow. And then I'm back to normal. Don't go into the pits. Let's go up this way. And you see we're back out this side. You can go back across this way. And um, should I rest the bonfire? Now nah, I won't need to. I'm tough. All right, gonna do the boss now. Like I said, this area is really small. No. There's a ring that you get from Tarkus, the scorpion dude to be talked to, and it's called the second Dragon Crest ring. There's a first one and a third one. The first one you get in the Covenant of Champions, and then the second one you get from him after killing two bosses. I won't spoil the later on ahead stuff. And then the third one you get somewhere else, I don't know where. Okay, now I think one of these could be an illusory wall. I'm not sure. I watched someone's let's play and there was the troll putting the sign right next to one. But of course there isn't so the line. There we go. Man Scorpion Tarkus. I'll keep Firestorm on. Actually no. I'll keep Flames Wave. I'll do that and then I'll do Firestorm. I'm only my bow for this though. Have I got anything stronger? That makes me go over. Uh -oh, I've got nothing stronger than those. Okay, so I think I'm good. Oh, dip it. Oh, all right. Let's go. So this boss doesn't seem so bad, does it? a little bit of magic and then it turns into a giant freaking scorpion ok 
Okay, so Pyromancy's doesn't work that well. Hey, at least I got down to half health, which is alright. Alright, I was just trying stuff out. It won't take that long to get back to the boss. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh no, what's going on with the picture? Alright, I'll cut it when I'm back up to the boss. Welcome back for another time. Back at the boss. Taking on Nagika. Get straight with this. Get out of the way. Well, Tarkus, you're bad. Matty. I'm so gonna die to this, I'm so gonna die to this. Okay, I'm not messing around now. Okay, come on, let's do this. Don't cast that. Come on. Come on, come out, bro. Come out. Come out, bro. Come out, bro. Come on, come out, bro. You mad? Oh, that's bull. Whew. You're bad. Oh, god damn it. No, leave me alone. No. Get on this, get on this. Oh, no, what am I doing? Life. Where'd you go? There you are. Where are you going? Where are you going? There you go. Oh, that's not good. Okay, come on. No, no, do no, 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 no. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Come on, come on, come on! God! Again, I'll cut to where I get back to the boss. Put myself to shame. Back again, won't die. Let's do this. Get out of the way. Yes, take damage. Oh god damn it, no. Come on, die. There we go. And Tarkus for once actually survived. I hate that. It's annoying that it took me that long just to kill her. I'm mad right now. I'm a little bit mad. Just, just a little bit. At least the next part's easy. And it starts to rain. Brilliant. Doors of Pharos. 
follows an arrow. Alright, come on. These guys are easy. He mad. Alright, come on, Garam. Get over here. What? Backstab? Germs are easy to kill. I didn't even heal in that boss fight, I think. These are also germs. They can also die. Dragon charm. Like the monastery charms, but have a better... Well, just a better thing overall. This is a mimic. Mimics have locks on them, if you can just see. Or so I've been told. And this mimic had dark leggings and a black scorpion stinger. It's basically a rapier. Alright, going back to Majula. What is up with the lighting? This video is all over the place. There we go. Alright, going back to Majula. Gonna upgrade the Pursuer's Sword and we're gonna <sighs> give ourselves a bit of a break and a level. So I'll put this down. Alright, I think once we've done this, that'll be the end of the episode. So I have stuff to do. I don't want to buy, I wanted to. What's this? Lion Grey Eyes. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so now I need three of those. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. That does slightly less damage, okay. I'm gonna grab this one last time. And that's the end of the episode. I will see you guys next time. I'll do the leveling and stuff off screen. Being called to do something now. But as always, have an epic day. If you like this, please do subscribe, like, and all that jazz. See you later. Bye-bye.